Milford. Milford used to be major. At one time, they were the Goliath of industry, but for now I just want to tell you one story about the French and Herald Company. After a spectacular blaze had destroyed the state's largest cotton mill in 1872, this section of river was essentially nothing but charred earth, and a company by the name of French and Herald saw an opportunity to build a furniture factory. A four-story building was created next to the dam just down the river from the swing bridge. It became known as the steam mill because it was the first real steam-powered production in Milford. Like its predecessor, French and Herald was wildly successful. Much of the furniture in New Hampshire at one time was coming out of this facility, and sometime in the early 1900s, they expanded. Adding over 70 rooms, French and Herald became a titan of Milford industry. January 6th, 1912. It was a bitterly cold morning, and over 150 Milford workers arrived to find the entire structure was in a complete blaze. However, with so many out of work, the town raised a $50,000 bond to rebuild, and French and Harold saw a payday. See, just four years earlier, French and Harold had purchased a building on the corner here at Nashua and Clinton from the Francistown Soapstone Company. It was originally only one story high, and French and Harold added an additional three. So when the main factory burned down, rather than utilizing the full 50,000, they just deconstructed this one and used the building materials to construct their new facility here. Now the Edgewood Plaza, but for a long time, this was French and Harold turf. It was later bought out by the Sprague and Carlton Company, who remained in business until 1967, right here in Milford. I'm telling you, Milford used to be something else. I mean, we were known as the granite town of the granite state. Well, anyways, I have a lot more to say about the industry here, but I'll have to save it for more videos. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.